Hello there guys and welcome to our 36 C++ tutorial. Today's tutorial we're gonna continue with vectors. In today's tutorial we're gonna go ahead and talk about a few functions contained inside the in the vector library. If you guys didn't watch our previous tutorial, uh, please go ahead and watch those guys. It's um, they're very informative. And if you didn't watch our other tutorials over in, uh, in basically in the other series, go ahead and watch those as well. Please leave comments with any suggestions you guys have. Um, and please rate all the videos guys and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already guys please go ahead and do that it truly gives me um, uh, a lot of feedback in if you guys do like the videos or not so if you haven't done that please go, go ahead and do so let's go ahead and go ahead and get started by typing our code and if you don't understand the code uh, quite from the beginning uh, you're gonna uh, once we're done typing it we're gonna go ahead and, and explain it in more detail so you guys can get a better understanding so we'll begin by including the library we need to, we need to use in our case the IO stream and also the vector library so type vector there and next we type using namespace the standard and let's go inside our main and I'm gonna be type return zero here alright now let's go ahead and type vector and I'm going to have a, a vector of data type int and I'm going to call it list next let's go ahead and type vector of data type in, uh, data type double and I'm going to type iterator cause, and I'm going to call it list it list it iterator the reason we need this iterator here is because basically we need so we can go through each element in the in the vector basically this will uh, we go to each element we needed to go and tell us what the element in the application is let's go ahead then next and go ahead and type list which is our vector of uh, double data type here and type push back and I'm going to put a value I'm going to put like 75, 25 here and I'm going to go ahead and copy this and so I can put some more so I'm going to put 5 elements here let me change the values here so we can distinguish them 125 these are random values I'm putting here guys 25 69 96 58 and 48 65 alright next let's grab a for loop here type list it for our iterator set that equal to the beginning of the list to do that we type list which is our vector and put begin which is our beginning of the list next we're gonna go ahead and type list it, which is our iterator, which is set to the beginning of the list. It does not equal list, which is our vector. And so, as long as it's not the end, we want to iter go keep keep uh, iterating for our vector. And to go to the next element, we do plus plus iterator list it, which is our iterator. And what we want to do is just go ahead and print out those values. So to do to print out the values, we type asterisk and our iterator, and I'm going to print them in the same uh, row, and let me put a semicolon here. So the reason uh, we have our iterator here, so we print, so we basically want to print the uh, the uh, the value that's in the location where the iterator is pointing at, and let me put a C out here, and put an end line. All right, let's go ahead and go over our code here so you guys can better better understand it up here we didn't do much if you didn't watch the previous tutorial this is how we basically we declared our vector a double a data type double and i call it uh, a list and same thing here we just have an iterator so we can go through we can loop through and we can go through each element this will basically point to each element that we want to point at and our pushback function here basically uh, what this does uh, this uh, inserts an element at the end of the vector so 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 it will push an element inside the vector but at the end and so since our vector here does not include a a anything it doesn't include this will be the first second third fourth and fifth elements so we're pushing five elements in our vector next here we're using a for loop and we're iterating through um, using our iterator out here we're setting we're setting our iterator to the beginning of the list so we were setting the iterator to point to the, at the beginning of, of the list so basically point at the first element so the vector here will be set to point at 75, 25 and then we're going to keep 
looping around this un until until we reach the end. So as long as we're not at the last element, which is 4865, we're gonna keep iterating through. Once we reach the last element, then we're gonna print that out and get our loop. And here the asterisk uh, list uh, our asterisk list it, which is our iterator. What this does will we'll print out the basically. Um, so our iterator here is going to be pointing to a certain address in the in our memory uh, in our memory space, and it will it will it will be set to that address. And if we want to print the value and not the address, we have to put asterisk and the iterator. So it will actually print the value and not the address. So what we're doing here, we're iterating through the whole basically our element. So we declared our, our array. We push some elements double um, uh, data type double elements inside our uh, vector, and now we're printing them out here. So we can see them. So if we go ahead and build this and run it, we should be able to see all these five elements here, five uh, double type elements that we inserted, pushed back in our vector, get printed out in one row. So go ahead and build this. Let's go ahead and sit down here if it's building without any errors. Alright, so it built successfully and let's go debug and start without debugging. So we see our five elements here in the same row. Alright. So now let's go ahead and do another thing. Let's go ahead underneath our C out N line here. Go ahead and type list, which is our vector, and type pop back. And I'm gonna go ahead and just copy. Let's go ahead and copy our for loop here so we don't have to retype it. Let's go ahead and paste it down here. So we can print out our uh, and let me put and let's go ahead and put a C out here again so we can make it look our output look a little bit more formal or neat or neater. And let's put another end line here, just a bit. Okay. So what the list popback does, list that popback, it will it will go through um it will go in our vector and it will basically delete. It will it will get rid of the last element. So it should delete 4865. So what we're doing here is we we're printing out our um the uh, elements the double type elements we push in our vector. We're printing them all out using this for loop. Then we're printing out two lines, blank lines. Then we're getting rid of the last elements, uh, or uh, the last element. So we're getting rid of this element, and then we're printing out again. We're iterating through all of them and printing them out again. So what we should see is we should see the five elements get printed out. Then four elements get printed out because the last one gets we get rid of the last one using the pop back. So the pop back function basically deletes the last element located in the vector. Let's go ahead and build this and see if we get what we expected. No errors and let's go ahead and start without debugging. So we see here we have the same, we print out the five elements, then we only have four elements. The last element which was 48, that's 65 as you see here guys and also here was deleted. Thank you for watching this tutorial guys, stick around for more tutorials guys and if you haven't subscribed and rated the videos and left comments guys do that. and. We'll be uh, we'll be back on another tutorial very very soon. Thank you for watching and stick around for more guys.